Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Gamma publishes 2018 first quarter aircraft shipment data. EAA releases Theater of the Woods preliminary schedule. And FAA issues SAIB for Helio Courier Aircraft. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's May 14th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Gamma has published the first quarter 2018 aircraft shipment report. The overall delivery of airplanes and rotorcraft rose compared to the same quarter of 2017, but with some mixed performance within the types. We are pleased to see the industry is overall trending positively, said Gamma President and CEO Pete Bunce. Training needs are driving the demand in the rotorcraft segment while a stabilizing used market, overall global economic growth, and aviation innovation are driving the other segment increases. We expect the introduction of new products to drive future growth, which underscores just how important it is for the U.S. Congress to pass a long-term FAA reauthorization bill. Piston Rotorcraft led the first quarter, rising from 58 to 81 units, a 39.7% increase. The turbine rotorcraft segment also grew by 7% to 138 units delivered. The total rotorcraft billings in the first quarter was $0.67 billion, an increase of 18.3%. Turboprop airplane deliveries provided the best performance in the airplane segment, growing by 12.7%. The delivery of business jets increased slightly from 130 to 132 airplanes. The piston airplane segment declined by three units from 203 in the first quarter 2017 to 200 in this year. After the break, Robinson Helicopter issues safety alert for MRB maintenance. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Joan Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Robinson Helicopter has received several reports and allegations from Brazil of R-22 and R-44 main rotor blades with debonded skins being repaired in the field and returned to service. The company says the debonded or repaired main rotor blades can lead to a fatal accident. Any AO-16-4, CO-1602, or CO-16-5 blade with a debonded skin is not field repairable and must not be returned to service. Any main rotor blade which has been previously repaired is unairworthy and must be immediately removed from service. Gulfstream has finalized STC certification of the Latitude DL-150 satellite data unit for Gulfstream G450 and G550 series aircraft, supporting CPDLC, ADSC, ACAR satellite data link services, the DL-150 is a TSO C-159B approved communication link enabling future air navigation systems. Already required for some air corridors, ATCs will continue to limit the busiest and most favorable routes to FAN's 1A equipped aircraft up to its full 2020 implementation date. 
the Ogden Air Logistics Complex reached a major milestone in extending the life of one of the Air Force's most tested and flown multi-role fighter fleets. An Air Force Thunderbird jet was the first of what will be roughly 300 refurbished C&D Model F-16s that will roll off the shop floor of the 573rd Aircraft Maintenance Squadron after receiving multiple structure strengthening modifications. On Tuesday, May 8, a bipartisan group of U.S. lawmakers, led by Representative Sam Graves, introduced H.R. 5701 to establish an Aviation Maintenance Workforce Development Pilot Program. In addition to Graves, Representative Daniel Lipinski, Representative Mark Wayne Mullen, and Representative Brenda Lawrence introduced the legislation that is designed to encourage more men and women to pursue careers in aviation. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The preliminary schedule for this year's Air Venture Theater in the Woods programming has been released, and it looks interesting. Starting Sunday, July 22nd, there will be an evening with champions. Enjoy an evening listening to a variety of speakers who've made an impact in aviation. Monday, July 23rd, will be the Royal Air Force Centennial Commemoration, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Royal Air Force. Tuesday, July 24th, will be the Bill Barber Award and an evening with innovators. The Founders Innovation Prize, a Shark Tank-style face-off seeking innovative ways to solve for in-flight loss of control. On Wednesday, July 25th, Women Venture will be celebrating powerful pilots, a panel of female aviators discuss their experiences in the U.S. military. Thursday, July 26th will be the move to early jets, celebrating the era of early jets with test pilots, crew members, and those flying them today. Friday, July 27th is the Imagination and Innovation, a salute to home building, a look into the impact, inspiration, and accomplishments of a distinguished panel of notable participants. And Saturday, July 28th, will be the salute to tankers and the Air Force Reserves, a celebration of the critical role played by tankers and a salute to the 70th anniversary of the Air Force Reserves. More events for Theater in the Woods will be announced in the coming weeks. After these messages, FAA issues SAIB for Helio Courier Aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. The FAA says there have been several instances of cracking at drag brace attachment location within the MLG of the Helio Courier models H391B, H395, H395A, H250, and H295 airplanes. While the current maintenance procedures include a visual inspection and the MLG leg for cracks, there have been instances where the cracks remained undetected and have led to landing gear failures. An improved inspection technique will improve the success rate of crack detection. To that end, the FAA has issued a Special Airworthiness Information Bulletin focused on the need for better inspection procedures to detect cracks due to corrosion inside the main landing gear legs. The current visual inspections defined in the Airplane Flight Manual need to be continued. Additionally, it is recommended that the visual inspections be performed with three times magnification at the drag brace attachment location to better observe any cracks early during the inspections. The drag brace location is the region where the drag brace attaches to the landing gear legs, approximately 29 to 30 inches above the axle centerline. Cracks were found to originate on the aft face of the landing gear legs. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. 
Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.